Thank you so much for being with us on News Channel 3 Live at 9 on this Friday. A landmark clinical trial in the United States could change how doctors treat breast cancer from the inside out. It's called cryoblation therapy, and one Mid-South doctor at the West Cancer Clinic is working to bring that treatment into the mainstream. Here to explain how it works, what it is, and most important, what it means for breast cancer patients is Dr. Richard Fine. He joins us live via Zoom. Dr. Fine, thank you so much. This sounds very interesting and exciting for breast cancer patients and their families. What is cryoablation? How does it work? Well, cryoablation is a technique for actually destroying a breast tumor by actually freezing it from the inside out, as you said. Um, it can be done very quickly, very safely, and essentially painless. Um, the system uses what is called a cryoprobe, which is a hollow needle that is inserted into the tumor after numbing the patient's breast with local anesthetic. The temperature with liquid nitrogen is brought down to a very low level. And then for about 20 or 30 minutes, the tumor is frozen. It kills the tumor, but does not destroy any surrounding tissue. Wow. And once that is accomplished, the cryoprobe is removed. The patient is able to go home uh, with their breast intact. Wow, so it, it sounds, Pretty similar to the, and I'm, I'm going to use the wrong term because I'm not a medical person, but the very targeted radiation that really focuses on targeting just the tumor. But is the difference that the side effects, I mean, we all, we all know about the side effects of radiation. Are the side effects less with this? What's the advantage? Yeah, this is a very well-tolerated procedure. There's very little, if any, side effect. Patients are going home, like I said, with their breast intact with pretty much immediate recovery, able to resume normal activity and uh, very limited time away from their work, their family or home. And there's no fear obviously of toxicity of radiation where let's face it, though it is a, a treatment that's long used and I, I'm not advocating against it, it there is some tox fear of toxicity in any case, is that correct? That's correct, but let me make sure that we make one thing clear. The use of the cryoablation is really the replacement of the surgical removal of the tumor from the breast. Okay. If patients have the need for radiation or for chemotherapy or endocrine therapy, other therapies that would normally be recommended even when the tumor is removed, they may still need those treatments in addition to the cryoablation. Okay, this is just a better way to get the tumor out. So would it be most appropriate for patients who catch the, uh, a tumor very, very early before it's had a chance to spread at all? Well, we're looking for small tumors, but we're also looking for tumors with very favorable biology. In other words, tumors that are hormone receptor positive and what we call HER2 negative tumors that have a very good prognosis to begin with. And these small tumors that are stage one, early stage, that have favorable biologic features are the ideal patients to have this procedure. Okay, where are you in the clinical trial? Um, how, how close might this be to actually becoming a reality in a widespread way? Well, it has already been approved in several countries around the world for use with breast cancer. Uh, we've been using cryoablation in lots of other cancers in the United States, and we're getting very close. The ICE-3 trial has finished accruing over 200 patients. Many of those patients are, have reached their five-year follow-up level, and it's showing very excellent results. The first interim results that we discussed at the American Society of Breast Surgeons in May of 2018 looked at the first 156 patients treated, and there was only one recurrence, which is very similar and equivalent to surgical removal or breast conservation therapy. Wow, that's got to be exciting for you. It sounds like it would also save a tremendous amount of money because there would be no need for reconstruction of the breast, I would think. Yes, the breast may, remains intact. There's no breast reconstruction. There's also no anesthesia, no operating room charges. This is an office-based procedure done under local anesthetic. Wow, so I'm curious, we hear so much in the media about breast cancer. I realize it is not the most prevalent breast cancer, so maybe it just gets more press, but why is it that it's, it's been used for other cancers but not breast until now? I'm just curious. 
I think it's more because the um, clinical trials just need to be done um, in a very safe way to be able to prove that it is effective and that it's safe for patients. And I think that some of the other um, trials have been maybe done before the breast cancer trials. Gotcha, so it's just a practical reason. Thank you so much. I am sure you guys at the West Clinic are super excited about this as, uh, as everyone should be. Have a blessed day. Thank you so much. Thank you, and we will link to the West Cancer uh, Center website so you can get more information on that facility.